All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to create this workflow. It's basically is the 11 labs. We update it to Google, change the permissions, and then we are going to add it to a Google Sheets and update it there. So let's get straight into it. I'm gonna save it. We're gonna to go to the overview. We're gonna create a workflow and we're gonna have a trigger manually. And then the next thing we're gonna do is add data transformation and edit fields. So this is where you would get your script and you can use ChatGPT for this or do whatever you want. We're just gonna manual map it, manually map it, call it script, and then say like and subscribe, please. And that looks good. So now we're going to the meat and potatoes, which is the HTTP request to 11 labs. So for, I already pulled up the documentation, which is right here. We are gonna be doing the text-to-speech, create-speech endpoint, and this is the URL. So let's first get the URL, and as we can see, it's also a post. So we're gonna change the get to a post. We're gonna paste that in. And next thing we're gonna need is a voice ID. Right now, it is just voice ID. So if we go to the homepage of 11 Labs, actually we can go to voices, and then you can kind of choose whichever one sounds good. This one, I already I looked. You. I prayed. That one sounds good. So we're gonna grab view ID, copy ID, and then throw this in here. Perfect. Now we are going to want to set a header. So with every 11 labs request, we're going to need a API key. So we have the header right there. That is the header name. And then we're gonna grab an API key from 11 labs. So what you're gonna do is go down to your workspace. We're gonna to go to API keys. We're going to create a new key and create. And now we have a new API key we can use. We're going to paste that in. And then next thing we're going to do is send a body. So if we look on to the documentation in the request, we have a required text string that we're going to have to add. You can also change the model language code and other voice settings if you'd like, but we're just going to do the bare minimum, which is the text. So we're going to call this text and then we're going to add in our text. So we're gonna actually have to execute the previous nodes. So, so we can do this nice copy drag. And what this does is basically just add the script from earlier. And so we're gonna test this, make sure everything's working. Looks like everything's working. We got our MP3 file. So next we're gonna to go to our Google Drive. Now we're gonna upload it to Google Drive and we're gonna say upload, upload a file. If you haven't connected this already, you're gonna to have to add credentials, set up your OAuth2 API, and you're also going to want to enable the Google Sheets API as well as the Google Drive API. So we're gonna have a file name, and the file name, we can just call it whatever we want, uh, script or voiceover, if I can spell voiceover, and we're gonna do it inside my drive, and then we're gonna do it inside this test folder we have, and we'll call it test, I already created this beforehand. It's in test videos and perfect. Now we're gonna test the step. So you wanna test it, make sure if it's working. And and as we can see, the voiceover popped up. Next thing we're gonna do is change the permissions for it. So we're gonna go add another step. We're gonna do Google Drive and we're gonna say update. We're gonna update the file. So we have the Google Drive account already connected. And we're going to, instead of update, we're going to actually share so change the permissions so it's easier for us to handle the file. Um, and we're gonna select the file by ID, which we already uploaded. So it's from the previous um, step. And then we're gonna add permissions. We're gonna select role of writer and anyone. So anyone can access this file that we just created. And that looks good. So now if we test step, we go here, we go to share, and now has anyone with this link is an editor. And you're gonna have to trust that what I'm saying is true. And it wasn't like that before, but it was like that. <laughs> Next, we're gonna go to Sheets and we're gonna update Sheets. And we're gonna update a row in a sheet. And so you also have to add your Google Sheets account if you haven't already. We are gonna update a row, that looks good. We're gonna update a document. We're gonna do the YouTube SOP. I already have it pulled up right here. And from the list, if you have multiple tabs, this helps with tabs and we're gonna map each column manually. So we want to change the column to match on. So this is the column we're gonna be updating and we're just gonna call it test eight. So this is the column we are gonna be updating and we're gonna say select 
title because it is the title column. And then we're going to use test eight. And we're going to use the audio link from right here. So the web content link. So that'll be updated. And then we're going to also say uploaded. Perfect. And that looks good. So as you can see, we are going to hit send and then it updates it with our link. And so if we want to test the whole workflow, let's see if it all works. And as you can see, we're going to update a new uh, file right here, and then it's going to get updated to right here, which is actually, it got updated to test eight again. Um, so this is the new one. And let's see what it says. Like and subscribe, please. Oh, 